you. Oh, I love this video. I've seen this video so many times. From using aimbot during a live CSGO so tournament to completing Super Mario 64 with a see-through blindfold, these are the dumbest streamers who are caught in 4K cheating, oh. beginning with Elm Zero, who accidentally left his aimbot on whilst trying out for a professional esports team. Imagine. Up until this point, Elm Zero had built up a respectable 3,000 Twitch followers for his impressive Apex Legends gameplay. However, while trialing for the pro team Zenith, judges noticed that his aim was almost too impressive. Wow. And while this first kill was arguably still Don't possible without aimbot, his next kill was significantly more suspicious. Elm Zero shoots through the wall as if he already knew where the enemy was before locking on. It doesn't want a full screen. Here we go, man. Holy shit. They're accidentally leaving it on, man. To the player with near perfect accuracy. Elm Zero was instantly called out in a Twitter post reading, How are people streaming cheats in Scrims Lameo? Which received a response explaining that he was known for cheating on PUBG in the past. Whoa. One of my accounts was banned from PUBG. I was banned by the PUBG Corp for yeah. um, my ban message said hack. My Determined to expose Elm Zero for good, another clip was tweeted my of him warming up for the match, in which his aim was once again. My ban message said hacking, but I didn't I didn't actually do it, guys. Like, uh, I, uh, like hacking, was that? Was that? <laughs> like, I, I, what does it mean? <laughs> and robotically accurate, and with the that evidence, is so mad that I'm so good, man. Like I'm too good. That's why I got banned. <laughs> Inconclusive, Zenith Esports would make a tweet explaining that Elm Zero was not contracted with us and has been removed from our trial process, which was followed by Elm Zero deleting all of his social media before Whoa. disappearing from the internet. Semper 0311 was even stupider, as after going live playing the game Destiny 2, he'd forget to hide the aimbot program altogether. <laughs> At the time, he was streaming to a small audience of only 16 people, however, this was enough for one of his viewers to notice the fishy gameplay. Writing in the chat is that aimbot. On your screen, it has like red squares around them. Semper was dumb enough to read the comments out loud. My screen oh has my God. red squares around them. And after pretending to be confused for a couple of seconds, Imagine the stream ended abruptly this. and the footage Imagine. was deleted. Imagine being so stupid. Like, imagine this. Like, don't read it out loud. Just remove the remove the aimbot and move on with your life. <laughs> In the days that followed, Semper denied cheating and threatened to ban anyone bringing it up. No, it's not. No, it's not. And I didn't, dude. If you want to get banned, you can keep saying that. Yet after being pressured by the audience, Semper admitted to cheating in the weakest way possible. Oh, God. There was oh, wall hacks on my, my computer yesterday on stream. Like, I'm there were wall hacks on my computer yesterday on stream. I don't know how they got here, to be honest, though. Like, I didn't, I didn't install them or anything. I removed them now, so it's fine. I'm not denying that. I just don't know how they got there. However, at <laughs> least Semper eventually admitted to some kind of wrongdoing <laughs> as the next person blamed her cheating on a non-existent <laughs> person. The streamer in question went by the name of Miss Q Gemini, and just prior to being exposed, she'd state that people often called her a cheater simply because she was female. You know what's really sad? But sometimes, you know, because I'm female in Counter-Strike, people are like, you're cheating! However, the real reason behind why she was People call me a cheater because I'm a woman. <laughs> She's a girl boss. <laughs> and we don't get it. We don't get it. I don't get it, definitely. I, I don't fucking get it. Like, I'm so good at video games, I get called a cheater. <laughs> called a cheater revealed itself just minutes later as she'd begin her first CSGO game of the stream with wall hacks enabled. That is. Ah, what? That is. Look at that. She's streaming like this. She's streaming this! After dying in the game, she'd come to notice her colossal size mistake and attempted to play the whole thing off by stating that she ha- How do you not realize you have your- Like, you know what this means? You know what this means? That she- <laughs> She's just, you don't see it. <laughs> that she's played with it for so long that this looks normal to her. Not <laughs> just woman intuition. <laughs> Did she do something? Like, imagine that! It's so insane!
and she plays that shit and she's cheating but it was Clara What was Clara, guys? It was Clara. Had some weird glitch. Do you guys ever get that uh that, that weird, weird glitch, glitch in CSGO where it shows your rank? That it shows yeah. everyone's rank. I played the other day with Rock and he got that and now I have it. Whoa. I, I don't know what's why. Like some virus Which was then NPCs. followed by Miss Q Gemini stating that someone named Clara had been playing on her computer earlier that day. <gasps> Wait, Clara, hold on. Clara, give me one second. Girl. Clara, let me just message this girl. Give me one second. Why is this on my computer right now? Where Clara. is this? How do I close this? I need to text my friend Clara right now. Clara? She was at my house earlier today. I'm literally Clara? gonna kill her. She promised me she didn't use it on my PC. Mm -hmm. Clara, out of all people, this Clara. is what happens when you let people use your PC. Realizing yeah, that Clara. there was no getting out of this, Miss Q Gemini began to trade all of her items to a brand new account. <laughs> Yet, unfortunately, this wouldn't stop a Twitch ban, which happened Clara. later that Girl, I told you not to install that weird shit on my PC. Why would you do that, Clara? <laughs> Day. And while it's certainly shameless to blame a friend for the hacks on your computer, it's not nearly as shameless as aimbotting during a professional CSGO tournament, oh, which is what would happen in the case of Optic Forsaken. Forsaken had joined the Indian Optic group in May 2018, Same. and in the five games played after joining, Forsaken had always placed either second or first. While many assume that Forsaken was nothing more than a very talented player, it will be after flying to a $100,000 prized professional tournament in Shanghai, China, that Optic Forsaken was exposed brutally. The tournament began with Thank Forsaken you, taking back. large breaks in the warm-up rounds, as if he was trying to set something up on his computer mm. in the background, yet it would Ooh, only be saucy. after the main matches began that Forsaken Saken's plays became incredibly suspicious. This first strange <laughs> flick into the ground was followed by what? countless examples of him locking perfectly onto the enemy. Whoa. <laughs> that. <laughs> I can't. I can't with this. Like, let's, let's replay. <laughs> Examples of him locking perfectly onto the enemy. Like legit, this isn't a tournament, right? Like this isn't a tournament. Like in front of other people, in front of judges. How? How does he even get to do it? His aim is just built different, bro. Like the audacity. It was Clara. It was Clara. Clara installed it. Clara dropped at his PC. My mom says drift clue. <laughs> like this one, where he just goes bop bop bop. Like, like. There was paid to frame me. <laughs> this has to be clever sister Tara. <laughs> Just While there was a chance that some of these kills could still be made by a high-level player, yeah. it would be with one final matchup that Forsaken's some aimbot sure. became obvious. But all of these? After locking onto the enemy through a wall, event organizers that? called a timeout, and officials made their way over to Forsaken's computer to figure out if he was cheating. At first, Forsaken refused access to his computer, uh, uh, however, no, the officials no, no, would ignore no, wait, this, this and look. This is, this is my PC. Don't, don't look. Don't look at my hentai. No, look. I'm looking at hentai on the side. Please don't look. Please don't look. This is hentai. This is, this is not cheating. I mean, watching hentai. Imagine trying to push away the judges. Anyway, during which Forsaken kept pushing them away from his computer while he tried to delete the aimbot right in front of their faces. Despite having traveled all the way from no India, way. Forsaken and the whole Optic team were instantly disqualified from the tournament, which became even worse when Forsaken issued a public statement explaining that neither his team, manager, or coach had even the faintest idea that he was hacking. The scandal eventually resulted in Optic India shutting down altogether, that but Forsaken so sad, isn't the man. only person in this it's video to cheat so in a profession. Sad. Yeah, like, I feel so bad for the rest of his team, man. Actually, just having a cheater on his team. On their team. Man, was framed by Clara. Honestly, though, like, goddamn it, Clara. You ruined the entire team. He did. Ridiculous. Like, the audacity of some people, man.
professional tournament. Because during a professional Fortnite tournament with a $500,000 prize, the following scenario happened to wait, a wait, player wait, how much? by the Fortnite tournament with a $500,000 prize. 500, the following scenario happened to a player by the name of Marky Locurus. We love Fortnite, we love Fortnite. Oh yeah, 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 wasn't that the glitch where he couldn't die? I think that was the glitch where he couldn't die, so his teammate kept getting him up. Despite being down and finished countless times by his opponent, a glitch prevented Marky from being eliminated. Whilst being revived, Marky told his teammate to keep quiet about what had <laughs> happened, which was followed- She's <laughs> like, shush, 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 shush. It's okay. No one saw shush. Shush, brother. <laughs> Look at this. Look at the being eliminated. Whilst being revived, Marky told his teammate to keep quiet about shush, what had happened. Shush, don't tell them. No one saw. We're gonna win this, bro. Half a mil hours. Shush. <laughs> there's a dude standing right behind him. Yeah, right? Like, there's a. I don't know. I think that's a security, though. I think that's a security guard. Maybe. It looked, it looked like those letters could say security. People just get easy code in another place. So there are people gonna die. <laughs> people don't die when they are killed, man. He, he's living proof. <laughs> Which was followed by the two unfairly killing the player who had downed Marky originally. That is so scummy. After continuing to play normally, Marky was approached by event oh, organizers who asked is. him to leave the match, Ugh. yet he refused, stating that what had happened was a glitch and was part of the game. While he would eventually give up and leave, this Imagine. Imagine justifying staying in the game because it was a glitch. They should have remade the entire tournament because they unfairly killed people now. They had unfairly killed people. To be fair, it was a legitimate, legitimately a glitch. Is it really his fault? It's his fault for abusing it. It's his fault for abusing it. This prompted discussion online about whether Marky had cheated or not. I don't think he is cheating. I think he just went with it. All these kids saying he wasn't cheating. He knew he wasn't taking damage and got revived and continued the game even though he should have died. That's considered an exploit and is cheating. That Fun is... fact, the first clip was actually a glitch, but he decided to abuse it. There, it there was certainly an argument for whether or not Marky's behavior constituted cheating. However, the same couldn't be said for Captain Baldy, who accidentally showed his aimbot whilst trying to I love that name so much. Captain Baldy. He could have instantly reported it and asked for a rematch or something. He could have reported it and just left. He would have been dead. The thing is, uh, it shouldn't have been remade. The game shouldn't have been remade at that point because he was downed and the person kept shooting at him. He would have been dead 100%. He would have been out. There wasn't, there wasn't any need of a remake at that point, but he got up again and then killed the person that downed him. At that point, we needed a remake. Prove that he wasn't cheating. Up until this point, Captain Baldy had built up a Warzone kill death ratio of over two, yet similar to the Apex Legends play in the beginning, Captain Baldy would be called out on Twitter after locking onto an enemy who was running behind a wall. Another the clip fuck? then surfaced where Captain Baldy displayed suspiciously accurate shooting. And as a result, his wow. chat began to fill with people calling him a cheater. Determined to prove his innocence, Captain Baldy agreed to show his task manager, yet hilariously seemed to instead tap the key which brought up his cheat menu. Task manager? Yo, they want my task manager? Hold up. <laughs> watch delete. this, watch this. That is, that is. What in 4K? <laughs> well, aim at dumb players on. <laughs> aim at enemies on. What else does he have on? Silent aim. Silent aim. <laughs> aim. 
<laughs> I'm bot mode on Zoom. So, okay, so only when he zooms in, he has aimbot. So it doesn't seem suspicious, you know? So when he's shooting normally, no aimbot, no sus, no sussy. Only when zoomed in, sussy. <laughs> but Kitsu, you need to understand, he's just a silly little guy. <laughs> he, he's just a little, silly little baldy. Oh my god. The chat then mocked Captain Baldy relentlessly, which was followed by a live Warzone ban later in the stream. Disconnected from COD. No way. Damn hammer. With the Captain Baldy saga ending with the deletion of his entire Lucky. Twitch channel. Getting caught while checking the task manager was a trend continued by Call. <laughs> Literally that oh my god from him. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> it's, let's hear it again. Let's hear it again. <laughs> Hold up. Control delete. Oh my god. The chat then mocked Captain. Oh my Captain god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Body relentlessly, which is followed like... by a live Warzone ban later in the stream. Oh my god. Disconnected from COD. No way. Damn hammer. <laughs> With the Captain Baldy saga ending with the deletion of his entire Twitch channel. Yeah, yeah, Getting caught while checking the task manager was a trend continued by Call of Duty streamer Young, although he didn't take his expose as humbly as Captain Baldy did. Young's viewers noticed that he always seemed to know where the enemy was coming from, mm. so just like our last cheater, the audience guys, requested guys, that guys, he guys, 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 he just has insane game sense. What do you mean? He's just a real gamer. He just knows he's played this game for like 5,000 hours. He's like a master player. He just, he's just a fucking gamer. He's a giga chat gamer. Were you accusing him? He's just like me for real. His task manager. Now, Young wasn't dumb enough to bring up the entire cheat menu. However, after accessing the task manager, <laughs> his stream display <laughs> bugged out and showed a second window where his hacks could be seen clearly. <laughs> after being banned from Call of Duty, Young would take to his Twitter on which he'd make an idiotically arrogant tweet reading, got mad free press tonight. Over 2K views overall. Some people even posted my gameplay online. Thanks for the shout outs, people. Really appreciate the help. <laughs> Although shout these outs. <laughs> shout outs. Bro, he only got three uh, quote retreats and one like, but he's already ratioed. <laughs> this is already ratioed. <laughs> 2,000 views worth of free press didn't contribute to the long-term growth of his career, as Young wah, hasn't gone live on Twitch ever since. However, Young still looks like a genius in comparison to Twisted Bear, whose Twitch description boldly claimed that he was the top Modern Warfare player. The, the reason for this claim would become player, apparent okay. in July of 2020, when he'd go live displaying his skills, only he completely forgot that he had his wall hacks on. The end to Twisted Bear's <laughs> career was then unbelievably quick. He was banned from Call of Duty, then Twitch, and was never Never heard from ever again. But this is what separates Twisted Bear from the next cheater, Mr. Golds, who made a much larger spectacle over his cheating ban. Mr. Golds was a much more significant Mr. figure Golds. in the Call of Duty community, followers. sporting a Twitch follow okay. account of over 50,000. During a live stream to an audience of approximately 1,700 people, Mr. Golds Lots brought up his task manager okay. before beginning to brag about how he was so good at Call of Duty that he Isn't didn't that need to cheat. <laughs> Cheating window we saw earlier from Captain Baldy. Wait, 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 wait. Is that the same cheating window? <laughs> nah. -ah. First time you see People. someone good at the game. Have you ever seen anyone playing like me? It's like, like seriously. First time you ever see someone being as good as him, guys. Although he didn't seem to notice that he'd also accidentally <laughs> brought up his cheat menu on which he had aim at enemies turned on. Whoa. Despite having 1,800 viewers at the time, almost nobody was talking in the chat That's or crazy. calling him out for it, That's showing crazy. that he was probably also viewbotting. However, while the chat remained pretty quiet, the incident was shared to Twitter where it received over two That's wild. Nah, he was also viewbotting. No, nah, that's wild. Not only is he a cheater, he's also a viewbotter. That is so wild. Nah. 
cheat menu on which he had wait, wait, I want to hear like, what he said again. Eat. Is it Last manager before beginning to brag about how he was so good at Call of Duty that he didn't need to cheat. Is it the first time you see someone good first at the game? Time. Have you ever seen anyone playing like mm. this? Like, he's like so seriously. good at the game. Although he didn't he's seem so to notice that he'd also Guys. accidentally brought up his cheat menu on but which he had aim at. The thing is, who did he even bring it up to if no one was addressing this? Why was he even bringing this up if no one in chat was addressing this? Guys, he's playing 5D chess. I, I think we just don't understand it. There is the final boss. <laughs> Sorry, <wait a> <laughs> I, to hire Clara professionally now. Enemies turned on. Despite having 1,800 viewers at the time, almost nobody was talking in the chat or calling him out for it, showing that he was probably also viewbotting. However, while the chat so remained crazy. pretty quiet, the incident was shared to Twitter where it received over 2,000 likes and 700 retweets. Whoa! After being temporarily banned from Call of Duty and Twitch, Mr. Golden only. uploaded an apology video oh in which he'd state Without that he didn't apology. mean to download the cheats. I truly am sorry. No, no, no. No, no, no! What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Golds would upload an apology video <laughs> in which he'd state that he didn't mean to download the cheats. I truly am sorry about. I didn't mean to. What does he mean, I didn't mean to? <laughs> you don't download and use cheats without meaning to. I mean, come on. <laughs> Oh my god, you guys can see the other guy that's talking. Yeah. I can't. I'm, I truly didn't mean to download the cheats. <laughs> I have made a severe... No, no, no. It's I have had a severe and continuous lapse in judgment. <laughs> guys, if I'm ever going to make an apology video, I'm going to start it off like that. I have had a severe and continuous... Collapse and judgment. And I'm gonna have the ukulele. <laughs> On, buddy. Before going on to try and convince his audience that this wasn't who he was. This is not who I am. This is really not who I am. Despite having cheated for months in the lead up to his expose. <laughs> yeah. These potato. days, Mr. Thanks. Gold's Twitch channel is an advertisement for big cryptocurrency giveaways from Tesla, which sounds like an even bigger scam than his wall hacks. However, a more interesting question to- I, I heard this though. I heard this. I, I don't remember I heard this. I, um, maybe Esmond said that where those big accounts will just buy- um, no, where like those companies will buy big accounts for huge money so they can do this. This is crazy, man. This shit's crazy. <laughs> this is not who I am, bro. Makes it sound like he's a gracious slurs. <laughs> Wonder is what happens when a game developer gets caught cheating on his own game. No, that, well, this is what happened funny. to Ortonil, the H1Z1 technical director, who was caught using invisibility whilst live on stream. This, uh, it, Are you cheating? You can't see me? Oh my god, am I hidden? Oh my god. Yeah, judging from his reaction, the cheat had definitely been yeah. left on accidentally. Oh he's just god. a dev. Like, I'm he, so sorry, guys. He's been cool about it. I'm so sorry. Guys. No, 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 he generally didn't mean it. Damn, I actually feel for the dev. You can tell he felt really bad. Poor guy, lol. However, yeah, there was absolutely uh, no accidents coming from FaZe Jarvis, oh who was given a lifetime ban on Fortnite after cheating publicly. Oh my god, on the 4th of November 2019, oh FaZe Jarvis would upload a video titled Fortnite Gave Me Aimbot, in which he'd explain that he was given hacks by an unknown person in random duos. Something crazy actually happened. I got in a random duos game, and he was telling me, like, he can get Aimbot and everything. And then he was going to test the hacks for his video. This is what happens. Look, aimbot, FOV, aimbot. I don't know what half this stuff means, <laughs> it's but so it's, it's actually about to be lit. We're about to pop It's about off. to be lit, Over the following guys. seven minutes, Jarvis lit up every That's single person in the kid. lobby with his insane aimbot like, accuracy. Like, from what I heard, he wasn't even 18 at the time. Like, he was just being a stupid kid who thought he could make a huge viral YouTube video. It's, it's, it's sad, it's sad, but, you know... It is what it is. I bet the person was that bitch, Clara. <laughs> Clara's also a deal of face. 
Oh, yeah, this this one, the end of this one is kind of sad. Oh my gosh, man! Oh! 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 I'm so sorry, the what? The monster I'm sorry, was up. what? Whilst explaining that he was using a new account and a new computer so he wouldn't get banned. Obviously, I don't want to have aimbot on my main account. I had to go on a new PC. Like, I don't want to get my main PC banned. It's, it's, it's Jarvis finished stupid. the video by once again reiterating so yeah, that you shouldn't hack and that his either. dummy account was most certainly going to get banned. Never use aimbot, okay? Never do it. You're going to get banned. I'm 100% going to get banned on this account. Yet he probably didn't expect that Fortnite would watch his video there and ban every single one of his accounts permanently. In the days that followed, Jarvis would upload a new video Video titled I, I've been banned from Fortnite. I'm sorry. In which it explains. Look, look at him. I feel so bad for him. This just ban his main account. So like, yeah, Fortnite literally said to shut the fuck up and get banned. Get the fuck out of here. Why are you showcasing aimbots in our game? It's so sad. I can go for Kiff. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I feel bad for him. It, it was literally just him being a stupid fucking kid, man. And that he could no longer play the game. I have actually been permanently banned on Fortnite for life. Recently, I posted some videos of me using aimbot. It didn't even cross my mind to think that I could be banned for life on Fortnite. Before stating that, that he was extremely sorry for his actions. Kid. You know, it's, it's obvious that I made a massive mistake. And of course, I would never think about doing anything like this again. I know now how big of a mistake this was, and like, I, it's just, there's, there's nothing I can. The video accompanies a tweet I mean. by Jarvis reading, I'm I going to take accountability for my actions, and I understand completely so why this has happened. I just wish I had known how severe the consequences guys, were at the guys, time. Guys, guys, chill, chill, chill a little bit. He's 46. But he, he wasn't even 18 yet. Because he literally was just a stupid Fortnite kid, okay? He literally was a stupid Fortnite kid. It, it's so sad. <laughs> I, he had it coming, yes. But getting all of his accounts banned instead of, like, Fortnite somewhat just, like, reaching out to him. him he learned his lesson, yeah. I I don't know if Fortnite ever unbanned him. We should look that up. We should look um, it up. And I would have never thought I don't let's let's finish the video and look it up after. He set up a separate account and was creating a video so his intent wasn't malicious. That's like, yeah, exactly. That wasn't malicious. He literally said, guys, don't do this. <laughs> I, I would never do this on my main account. I don't wanna get banned. Like it was literally him just thinking, oh, viral YouTube video, yay! YouTube views, yay! YouTube buddy, yay! What about doing it? I love all of you who still support me. This is not the end. And while Jarvis did seem quite apologetic for his actions, Fortnite would make an example out of Jarvis by banning any new accounts that That's he tried so to create. Sad. The interesting thing is Jarvis's punishment was still less severe than super fast jellyfish, who might have the craziest cheating story in this whole I video. Don't this one right super now. fast jellyfish was a Super Mario 64 speedrunner who oh, wanted to join oh, the exclusive oh, nine okay. person list of Super Mario players okay, who had completed okay, the game her. whilst blindfolded. In the lead up to his blindfolded attempts, Superfast Jellyfish had been playing Super Mario 64 for three and a half years, leading him to believe that he had enough experience to beat the game without eyesight, and apparently he was correct, as he'd Thank successfully you, complete the blindfolded challenge after only three tries. However, his ability to complete the challenge with such ease prompted mm. a user by the name of Charlie Brown 64 mm. to upload a video titled Obvious Cheetah Fakes Blindfolded Super Mario 64 mm. Speedrun, in which he tears Superfast Jellyfish's run to absolute shreds. Only a true gamer such as this man would be able to somehow sidestep this Goomba, He's a true quickly gamer. make his way up the path, He's and then do this long jump Clara to the next Totem. red, all completely blindfolded and with absolutely no setup necessary. Not only does he somehow know exactly where the 1-up box is, but he also knows exactly what direction the 1-up will go in once it spawns, something completely determined by RNG. Then, after Whoa. chasing it on a moving platform for a completely arbitrary amount of time, no, he somehow knows understand. exactly when and where to jump to the left. Watch now as he somehow knows exactly where he is on the spinning platform and knows exactly where the first pole is. Again, anyone who was actually blindfolded here would have probably just kept holding 
left and run off. However, this guy is able to make a completely random amount of adjustments to make it onto the pole. 19 days after Charlie Brown would upload his expose, Superfast Jellyfish uploaded a bizarre apology video in which he tried to claim that the run had Santa been girl, faked deliberately. Yeah. That speed run was purposely fake. It was purposely mm, fake. Purposely. Yet nobody seemed to buy any of I his lies. The Superfast Jellyfish's time in the spotlight ended with a dislike ratio of over 95%. <laughs> It was an experiment, a social experiment, guys. I did this on purpose. You don't believe me? Yeah, well, you suck.